here with men's basketball coach Todd Landrum. Coach, we were just talking off camera about uh, about last Wednesday's conference opener against St. Olaf. I don't really think that the, the final score necessarily dictates the, the play of the game because I thought that a lot of that game, uh, you've got some players that prove that they can play in this league. Yeah, you know, I you're very kind, Donnie. Um, you know, if, whether you lose by one or you lose by 20, it's still a loss. Um, I was disappointed in the way some of our veteran players came out. I told them it's a great opportunity when you come back home and maybe get a little peop some people behind you. Our young front line is, is going to be pretty good. They're going to make some mistakes, but, you know, Sam, uh, Ruth, and Will Swigum and Mark Schumacher, uh, and a guy to keep your eye on is a guy named Johnny Spillane, a 6'3 guard freshman off the bench. Those kids are long, athletic, they play hard, and they are really fun to coach. And uh, we're going to hang our hat a lot on those kids this year. Yeah, Mark had a great game, 19 points for him. And then, uh, as, again, as we were talking off camera, Will had a double-double. You know, those are the kind of things that I think teams are going to start taking notice of. A lot like when Mike Burfine was younger and uh, all of a sudden, People say, whoa, this kid can play. With a couple of them like that, hopefully you get Mike back. Uh, that front line, that inside game is going to be pretty good for you guys. Yeah, I mean, we need our guards to play the way they're supposed to play because we've got some good young front line kids now. And they're athletic and long and do some good things. So if our veteran kids can kind of step up and, you know, do what they're supposed to do, they're good players, good kids, they want to win, you know, uh, maybe the combination will come. I don't think we're going to be a real good team until after Christmas. I think we're still, you know, we have different lineups every game. We're trying to figure this thing out, and our freshmen are still on a roller coaster a little bit. But uh, uh, I think if we just stay the course and stay positive, uh, all of a sudden this thing might catch fire. Let's talk a little bit about uh, about Monday's game against Hamlin. It, it really kicks off kind of a busy stretch for you before the Christmas break. You go Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and then you go again on Wednesday. So it's a busy time for you guys. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the, the kickoff to that busy week with, uh, with Hamlin. Well, Hamlin plays a little different style of play than the rest of the teams in the league. Although, oddly enough, I'm watching them this morning against St. John on tape, and St. John's trying to play like Hamlin, kind of spread the floor, scatter ball, quick shots, kind of some crazy stuff. And what you can't do is you can't get caught up in it. Some of my teams have not got caught up in it. We've had decisive victories over Hamlin. Others have got caught up in it, and we're really not a schoolyard team like that. So it'll be interesting, and then you come back with St. Thomas, one of the best teams in the country. So uh, we'll have to be ready to go. We got the four games in nine days, and uh, kids like it. They'd rather play than practice. Monday evening, 7.30 up in uh, St. Paul against Hamlin. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.